Hi, welcome to day 13 of Yogtober. Let's start off with a gentle jog. Okay, ready for the first jogging move. So separate your feet to shoulder width, bring your hands together at the chest and start squatting, yogic squats. So really straight back, gazing forward, going as deep as you can. Keep going, really controlled movements. Breathing all the while. Exhale as you go down, inhale as you come up. Okay, now hold. Keep holding. Back up. Shake it out and jog. Keep jogging. Pick up those feet and breathe. Think about your posture. Just relax the muscles of the face. Okay, now take a stride out with your right leg and bend it. So we're coming into warrior two legs, lifting up your arms to shoulder height. So right angle bend in that right leg, elbow to the knee and reach right over with the left arm and then do the opposite way. So a back bend and a side bend. So you're opening up the side of your body. Elbow to the knee and back, sliding the hand down that back leg. Elbow to the knee, slide. So opening the right side, then the left side, ribs fanning out. Breathing as you go up, inhale, exhale as you reach down. Breathing up, Exhaling down. Keep going. Keep control and hold. Okay, and now change legs. So bending the left leg to right angle and straightening the right leg. Arms come up to shoulder height. Elbow to the knee, reaching out over by the ear. And then back over. Inhale one way, exhale the other way. Keep space between the ear and the shoulder. Enjoy this lateral stretch. Keep very firm, strong legs. In warrior two position, reach, reach, keep going, keep balanced, and hold. Okay, so just start jogging again. No breaks in jogging. Keep jogging. Relaxing the shoulders, away from the ears. Create that space for the chest, for your breath.
get loose. Okay, come down to the ground, press your lower back down into the ground and the back of the head and start bringing the toes to the floor so your knees are bent at a right angle and touch the toes down and up, touch and up. So this just gets the very pit of the abdomen. It's a little bit easier than leg raises, but it's using completely different muscles. So go to vertical thighs and just keep the knee fused in the same position. So only the hips move, sort of hinge from the hips. No other movement. Press the lower back down into the ground. Hands can just be under your bum. Or pressing into the ground. Okay, start bringing both knees into the chest taking hold just underneath the kneecap on the shin and rocking side to side. Then reach up, let's stretch out your legs, take hold of the big toes and bend the knees. We call this one the happy baby. You stretch out one leg, then the other leg. Stretch out one leg, then the other leg. Just rolling and rocking about. Have fun with it. Keep the back of the head on the floor. Keep the lower back pressing into the ground. And then... Enjoy Apanasana, wind relieving pose once again, bringing the knees into the chest, opening them wide, just pulling them out, pulling your knees out towards armpits. Okay, on your back again for the next one. We're just going to take your knees over to the left and take the top knee off, slide it forwards a little bit and take hold of it with that left hand and pull gently down to the ground, looking in the opposite direction. The arms are cactus shape, or out straight um, at shoulder height. Take it over to the other side now, to the right. Guide that top leg off and down to the ground using your right hand, and just gaze in the opposite direction. Arms and shoulder blades down on the ground in the cactus. Okay, rock up to sitting and stand and then jog it out. Keep jogging. Okay, stride forwards with your left leg into a high lunge, hands come down to frame the foot and drop the knee. Take your hands on the inside of that left leg into the dragon or lizard pose and lift the kneecap off, pushing back into the ball of the foot and then touch it back down, lifting off and down. Repeat. So from the side, you're in the lizard Drop the knee, pushing back. It's a small movement, but it's very effective. Nice for the groin, the hips, the glutes. Really good for flexibility, this one, and the quad. Take it down to the elbows if you can. If that's available to you, you can just angle the foot out to 10 to 2. 10 to 12, should I say. So you're letting the leg fall out to the side if it feels right, just relaxing through the hips, taking the left hand to the left knee, rotating, spinning the chest upwards, reaching up and back to take hold of that leg if that is available to you. Gazing upwards, a gentle pull of the heel in towards the glutes just to finish this wonderful lizard stretch 
Okay, back down. And then we're pulling back into this hamstring stretch, bowing forwards over the stretched out leg and back. So repeat this leg flexing, pushing forward, hips down towards the mat, then pulling back. Just, you can always walk backwards with your hands and forwards with the hands if, the, if you can't quite get that flexibility. Just rocking back and forward on that leg with one hand either side of the foot. And then take it over to the left side, your whole body drapesing over that left leg in a twist and that should feel gorgeous. Okay, coming back into plank, hold the plank. Strong arms pulling up and into your centre line. Stride through with the right leg this time. So same thing again. Bring your hands on the inside of that leg and dropping the knee, touching it down, pushing back into the heel and the ball of the foot. Really strong in the arms, dropping the knee, push back, dropping the knee, push back. Take it down to the elbows if you can, angling the foot out to 10 past 12 or just basically out to a diagonal, just so the hip can fall. Take the right arm to the right knee, spinning the chest up and round, gazing up at the ceiling. Taking hold of that left leg, pulling the heel in towards the glutes, spinning the chest up and back. Just hold that position, take it back down, and start rocking through the hamstrings, forward fold over the right leg and pushing hips down to the mat. So we just try and fall forwards as far as you can, rocking on that knee, pulling the toes back to meet the shin for that added extra stretch. Just keep going. Push the hips down, pull back through that hamstring. And then take the hands over to the other side for that stretch and twist. So you feel that in the hip and the whole of the side of the body. Just carry on as normal. Sorry about that. Let's get back to it. Let's carry on with a jog. Doing well, getting through it. We're going straight into some handstands now. Handstand practice. Do 10 handstand practices. All of the weight of the body on your arms and hands and it's a real focus for your core strength. It's kicking the legs up one at a time. Against a wall is better if you can. And obviously this is a bit dependent on space. And return. Back to your jog. It's fantastic to get the blood to the head every now and again. 
and it feels it's really energizing doing handstands channels your inner child okay we're doing a pigeon next left knee forwards trying to balance right on the top of the thigh at the back and we're going bowing forwards as you exhale inhaling lift gazing up bowing forwards exhale inhale little back bend so the hands are either side of your hips so let's take it back as far as you can don't overdo it bowing forwards taking it back back bend in this pigeon position Swapping sides now, right knee forwards, balancing on the top of your thigh. On the other side, try and be square, try and make sure the hips are square and bowing forwards, taking it back. Exhaling forwards, squeeze the shoulder blades together, hands just by your hips. Come up onto your fingertips if it's helpful. Let's see, keep going on the other side, bowing forward and back. Lovely hip opening posture. Should feel really nice in the glutes and all around the hips. Okay, peel yourself up off the floor and jog. Okay, just a short one. Now we're on the floor, legs are vertical into the air and just reach up and touch the toes. So you're using your core strength. Make sure the movement comes from that abdomen area. Touch your toes with the tips of your fingers, head and shoulders lift off the ground. Lift. Exhale as you lift up. Inhale as you go back to the ground. Keep going. Okay, bending your knees back into that wind relieving apanasana. Couple of rocks and then push yourself up to sitting. Okay, we're kneeling now for the next one, bowing forwards. Arms are behind your back and lift them up and into the air. Pulling back up. Reaching out in front and try and separate the fingers so you're pulling the shoulder blades away from each other. Should feel really nice. And just lift up the right leg right on top of the thigh in a sort of semi-lotus position. And then take the other foot just behind, so you're sitting on the floor, and spin around. Try and catch hold of the toes with the opposite arm. I think this one does depend a little bit on arm length. And the other side. So one leg tucks just behind you, one leg on top. Arm comes behind and takes hold. And hand on the knee. Try and push that knee down to the ground and spin. Okay, roll forwards onto your belly now. So we can do a little sphinx. So forearms out in front, elbows underneath the shoulders, gazing forwards, just activating your thoracic spine, zipping the legs up behind you together, pressing the hip bones down into the ground. Gazing forwards.
You can do this one with or without a baby. But if anybody did have a baby to hand, this is a lovely little ab cruncher. And it's fun at the same time. And here's another one that you can do with a weight or a baby, a nice squat with a lift as you go up. Great fun had by all. Happy Sunday, everybody. See you tomorrow.